everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this motherfucker. That's right, and I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Right happy now. new year, yeah. Um, this starting is... off with a bang here. Well, 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 ending with a bang. Yeah, ending with a bang, starting cur- with a bang, don't fucking matter. <laughs> Currently, right now, it is New Year's Eve. Uh, by the time you watch this, it might be New Year's, but... Nonetheless, uh, we finally got it in, Tommy. The last uh, pay-per-view that we were going to do for December. Yes. We finally got it in the square mile. Yep. It's ECW Massacre on 34th Street. Yes. Um, we decided that we are going to choose an ECW pay-per-view. We represented OVW, WWF. WCW. WCW. Might as well do an ECW yes. for the last one, right? But before we get started with that, guys, don't don't forget that you guys need to enter the Self Destruction of the Ultimate Warrior Collector Set, uh, the Collector's Edition. It does come with the insert. And this is probably the greatest Ultimate Warrior DVD ever made. <laughs> it is the bonus disc one from Fye. No, I'm being I'm being honest. That's <laughs> the greatest Ultimate Warrior DVD ever made. I know you love it, don't you? Oh, I fucking love it. But anyway, we're gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber, January seventh. 2019 so get your guys votes and you guys already yeah know guys yeah you might it. want to get it in where you can get get this and watch uh his great match with terry gibbs on wrestling challenge <laughs> i know you love that match. oh yes <laughs> tommy what are you gonna do to us oh all you gotta do is uh subscribe to our youtube channel wrestling rampage and uh tell us your favorite ultimate warrior match uh short list right yeah it's a short list but anyway no oh, you could even say terry gibbs <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. So, you guys, make sure you guys enter. Uh, this is a $40 DVD. It's a high dollar DVD. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to give this away to one lucky subscriber. It's a very rare DVD to find as well. So, we're going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber January 7th. So, make sure you guys get your guys' uh, enter in yeah. so you guys can win. Let's go ahead and get this started, Tommy. You ready for this? Yep. ECW Massacre on 34th Street. This is the review for you guys, December 3rd, 2000, at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City, yes, New in York. New York City. Uh, we have two dark matches. The first dark match is New Jack, as he takes on one member of Da Baldi's Angel. Well, you know uh, DeVito will be there, Tony DeVito. Hey, he's puffing on the cigar. Oh, he's puffing on that fucking shitty cigar. That's <laughs> not lit. Yeah, it's not lit. <laughs> and, uh, of course, New Jack gets the win here over Angel. No doubt. No shock. Uh, and the last dark match is uh, two referees. And why the fuck are referees fighting here in a dark match? Like, you think fucking New York gives a fuck about two referees fighting like fucking, fucking church women? Do <laughs> they give a fuck about that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I'd be hitting, hitting the beer, hitting those Dixie cups. <laughs> you would right there in the Hammerstein Ballroom. Yeah, right there in the Hammerstein Ballroom. We have H.C. Loke. Taking on Danny Daniels. I'm just gonna go ahead and say the match sucks. Uh, yeah. I don't give. I hate referee matches anyway. They're fucking shitty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and AC Loke beat uh, referee Danny Daniels here. So there we like go. anyone gives a fuck. And of course, they're right gum chewer. <laughs> yep. As we get started, chewing my gum. Uh, as we get started, that's what we, you're hearing in the background. <laughs> hopefully, you don't hear that in the background. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with the pay per view. We start off with Joey Styles and the quintessential stud muffin, Joe Gertner. Yeah. Starting off, uh, opening up the show. Uh, and of course, we see the patented ECW theme song, as yes, usual. Yes, yes. Like and we see their generic ring. <laughs> generic ring? Yeah. It was just a black apron. <laughs> well, it is what uh, it is. Right? Blue mat and black ropes and black turnbuckle pants. Well, well. Well, well, this is uh, you know late of late of two thousand, so they are going to be going out of business soon. Uh, that ain't my fault. <clears throat> First match on the docket for you guys is Simon Diamond with yes. his partner. Oh yeah, his partner, the great Johnny Swinger, Johnny Parisi, the <laughs> Triple H didn't know, which no one else did either. So I don't blame Trips. As they take on Christian York and Joey Matthews. And if you guys do not know, uh, well, you know, you guys probably heard of his name, Joey Matthews. He became Joey Mercury in yep. the WWE. Um, this was a good match. Yeah, it was. It was a good opening match. I really enjoyed the uh, 
Simon Diamond and Swinger versus uh, Christian York and Joey Matthews. I thought it put on a pretty good opening match. But before they got started, Don Marie comes out. Oh, yeah, looking beautiful as ever. Oh, oh sexy as fuck. Oh, yeah. But she wants to sign a tag team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, gu I guess the winners of the match, I assume, is going to be the, uh, the, the team that she, p that she picks. Yeah. Uh, it was a really good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Matthews ends up doing a top rope hurricanrana. Yep. Um, and uh, York hits uh, Swinger with the uh, with the elbow. With the elbow. It, it looked like an elbow. It, it, it's a combination with an elbow and a fucking knee. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure which one it was. And, it looked uh, like an elbow to me. And fucking uh, Christian York and Joey Matthews pick up the win over Swinger and Simon Diamond. And, well, Don Marie ends up turning on York. Yeah. Um, by scratching him in the eyes, and, well... And then the double-team DDT by Swinger and Simon Diamond on Joey... The problem Matthews. solver. Yep, on Joey Matthews. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Joey... Oh, no, or, no, it was on Christian yeah, York. Yeah, Christian yeah, yeah. York. Christian yeah. York. Joey Matthews was on the ground. He got injured from... Yeah, he the, got injured. Injured his arm. Uh, from... I, I'm, I'm, a li I'm believing it's the Hurricanrana. Yeah, that I believe it. it was also. And, uh... You know, Joe Gertner goes down there to help uh, Joey Matthews. So that leaves the broadcast open for... Here comes Cyrus. Here comes Cyrus. He's going to be doing the rest of the show with Joey Styles. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I thought that was a pretty good opening match. It was a pretty good opening match. Really high impact stuff. Um, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people don't give Joey Mercury the credit or Joey Matthews the credit that yeah. he deserved. I thought he was a great team. I thought Christian York and Joey Matthews were a great team. No doubt. Next match. Oh, I can't wait for this one. Oh, yeah. We see EZ Money. Oh, EZ Money, or do you mean Jason Jett that lasted in <laughs> WCW for two months? Three months. Well, three months until that fucking <laughs> shitty company closed. I know you love WCW there, Charles. <laughs> I know you love dying companies. <laughs> dying companies. And <laughs> at least ECW still have fucking fans. Well, Easy Money. Oh yeah, comes with, out with fucking ugly ass Electra. People love Electra. I to me, I she's know. an ugly fucking whore bitch. What do you think of that? I I guess the only thing they ever cheer for was she had big tits. She's a crack whore. <laughs> she looked like one. Electra and oh oh Kamani. Hot Kamani. Here comes the great Chris Hamrick. <laughs> Thinking he's the top guy. Yes. And here comes fucking Julio De Niro saying, am I sexy? No, you're a fucking bitch. That's what you are. And me... And did you see... Did you see Easy Buddy pull down his tights? Oh, yeah, pull down his he fucking tights. He has a G-string on. He has a fucking G-string. Yeah. And fucking Electra putting down her Paul Heyman money in there. <laughs> the probably, probably a couple bucks, because that's all pay, Paul Heyman could probably pay these people. But Easy Buddy's going to be taking on Balls Mahoney. Balls Mahoney, baby. I like Balls Mahoney. Uh, what you say about the match, Tommy? I thought the match was okay. Uh, you know, it, it was pretty good for what it yeah, was. Yeah, it was pretty good for what it was. I thought it was a pretty decent match. I mean, and and and, and, and Tommy knows this. Easy Money is a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah. I, I, I like I like when he wrestles. Uh, that, easy Money, actually, I thought he always had great matches with Kid Cash. Oh, no doubt. So, uh, but uh, but De Niro gets involved. Julio yeah. De Niro gets involved. He does a top uh, off the top rope a neck breaker to Balls Mahoney. Um, next we see Chris Hamrick do a leg drop from the top rope. And finally, Easy Money hits him with the moonsault. With the moonsault of Balls Mahoney, one, two, three, and Easy Money picks up a big win here over Balls Mahoney. Right here on pay-per-view. Right here on pay-per-view. Uh, but, uh, after that hot commodity starts beating down Balls Mahoney. Yeah, and then here comes Mr. WWE Lover, <laughs> fucking company jock sniffer, Nova. Nova. Uh, I liked Nova. Um, I thought he had a really good uh, run in ECW and, and, all, and also OVW. But by the time he came to WWE, he was the shits. Yeah, he was the shits. He was. Uh, when he became Simon Dean, that's when it just went downhill. <laughs> yeah, he was the shits. He was the shits. But we have an impromptu match out of this. Yeah. Um, we see Julio De Niro as he's going to be taking on Nova. Out of nowhere, like, yeah. like, 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 like he cleans house, and then out of nowhere, Julio De Niro's in the ring, and so is Nova, like, and then we hear the bell ring. Yeah, like, is this a fucking impromptu match here? <laughs> this... Why does Julio deserve a match? <laughs> fucking Julio Fantastico, who was a jobber uh, in WWF. I'll be honest, this match to me was not that good. Um, 
I like the way Julio De Niro sold. That's about it for me. Uh, but, uh, you know. Like I'm saying, like, Nova was good in the ring, but as a fucking person, he was a dick. Nova hits the kryptonite crutch on Electra because she yep. tried to get involved. Yep. Um, Balls Mahoney comes in, whacks all hot commodity out with the chair shots because he is the chair stiff swing and right. And with the mask on 34th Street chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and Nova hits Julio De Niro with the Swanton Bomb. Yep. And one, two, three. And Nova beats fucking Julio De Niro who slides out of the ring. <laughs> Head first. Yeah. He, he, he crawls over the rope and he just slides out. Yep. Um, and, and you know they didn't give a fuck about Chris Hammer. They left his ass in the ring knocked out conscious. Yeah, yeah let's go. Fuck, fuck Chris Hammer. Yeah, fuck Chris Hammer. <laughs> Um, next match is for the ECW Tag Team Championships, when the champions, the FBI, the full-blooded Italians, Little Guido, and Tony Mamaluke, with Big, Sal with Big Sally Graziano, they're going to be taking on Roadkill and Danny Doring. Now, this all came about because, well, uh, the, F the, the FBI ended up shaving uh, the Amish chicken pluckers beard off. Yep, and shaved Danny Doring's head. And shaved Danny Doring's head. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's what this comes about. And, well, leading up to this match, Danny Doring and Roke Hill said if they do not win this match that they are through as a tag team. Yes. So, uh, Tommy, what did you think about the match? I thought the match was pretty good. It was pretty good. I will have to say this. I love the sell job of Little Guido oh, yes. and Tony Mamaluke. Oh, yeah. Match. <laughs> Little Guido and Tony Mamaluke sell like a motherfucker. They do. I know I know. fucking Little Guido's a friend of fucking Grimm, but I can't help him with that. But, uh, <laughs> he could actually work. He deserves better than that. He deserves better than that. He don't deserve to be anywhere near that fucking shitty goddamn <laughs> channel. But, uh, Tommy... Little Gui, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Tony Mamalu gets gets kind of floated over yes. onto the uh, onto the uh, apron. apron. Yes. And Tommy, what does oh. Danny Doring do? Oh, Danny Doring with a big super kick. Fuck it, Tony Mamalu <laughs> flies all the way into the first row. He he flies and he goes over the fucking rail. He flies into, to the, first row. into the first row, which was fucking hilarious. I, I loved it. And then what do we see, Tommy? Oh, uh, what do we see? The old. Boogie Bang. Yep, the old Boogie Bang, you know, he fucking, fucking, Rogue Kills got him set up into a, almost like a wheelbarrow suplex. Yes. And then Danny Doring hits the leg drop. One, two, three. And Danny Doring and Rogue Kill are the new ECW Tag Team Champions. A really good match, by yes, the way. Yes, it was. It was a really good match. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, they also had a lot of high, uh, uh, you know, like Guido and, uh, and Danny Doring had a lot of high spots in the match. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you can't forget about Rogue Hill diving on... Uh, Big Sal. On Big Sal on the outside. So the new ECW Tag Team Champions are Rogue Hill and Danny Doring. Next match on the card is when C.W. Anderson... Yes, C.W. Anderson, the Enforcer. The Enforcer. Uh, he's going to be taking on... The Innovator of Violence, Tommy Dreamer with the Nike shirt. <laughs> yeah, with the Nike shirt. In the in the black pants with red stripes. I love Tommy Dreamer. Hey, 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 hey. Tommy Dreamer earned the right to wear that. Yeah, shit. He can wear whatever the fuck he wants. He's Tommy Dreamer. But um, this honestly, I thought this was a great fucking match. This was a really good match. Yeah, I thought C. W. Anderson and Tommy Dreamer put on a great fucking match. This was really great. Told a great story. Uh, Dreamer ends up getting busted open. By a big uh, left hand by C.W. Anderson. Uh, then they ended up, fight, you know, brawling out into the crowd. Yep. Um, uh, Anderson ends up, uh, uh, you know, he's he's working on Tommy's shoulder the all through the time. match, all through the match. You know, trying to tell the story of of uh, him and and put uh, Tommy wedging Tommy Dreamer's shoulder into the steel chair, then grabs the other steel chair and rams it right there into the corner hits, post. Yeah, hits it right within the quarter post. Yeah. Uh, you know, a really great match, but some of the Gaga yeah. around the 
end didn't really need to happen. Yeah, like, like here comes fucking... Uh, 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 the, the towel boy gets yeah, involved. Yeah, the towel boy gets involved for some fucking reason. Uh, towel boy is the guy who was wiping down the ropes. And fucking uh, then Tom Dreamer grabs his towel and he's fucking wiping the goddamn ring mat with the fucking ring ropes and fucking C.W. Anderson wrapped around the towel. Uh, Louie dangerously gets involved. And hits. then the fucking towel boy fucking kicks C.W. Anderson. <laughs> yeah, I was like... What the fuck does he deserve to be in there? But Louie dangerously comes out yeah. and gets Tommy Dreamer with the cell phone. And then Paul Heyman comes out, you know, he comes out and hits Louie dangerously with the phone. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which, honestly, I didn't think needed to be happening yeah. in that match, to be honest with you. But, you know, that's just me. Um, table gets set up into the corner. Yes. With the legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, you know, it's flipped upside down, so the legs are pointing up. Yes. Uh, and one of them was actually kind of, yeah. like, 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 it was, like, cornered a little yeah. bit. Um, and uh, Tommy Dreamer was about to do the uh, DVD on him. Yep, the Death Valley Driver. And, uh, and then C.W. Anderson carries a big spine buster, and Tommy Dreamer goes in convulsions. Spine buster on yeah. the fucking yeah. table. And with the legs standing straight up. With, with, with the legs up. Uh, and one, two, three. And C.W. Anderson gets a big win here. You want to do the little commotions there? Oh, yeah, Tommy. <laughs> I, I like Tommy Dreamer, though. I, I used to not like Tommy Dreamer, but now I respect Tommy Dreamer. But, uh, oh, yeah, brutal spine buster yeah. on that table. Oh, yeah. You know, like, you know, how usual tables are, you know, flat surface. No, you know, they had the... They know, had the legs this, sticking up. You know, the, 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 the leg was partly up. Yeah. And it's on it's on the fucking metal yeah. of the table. It's not on the fucking wood. Yes. Uh, so... That was pretty fucking A big brutal. win for C.W. Anderson. Uh, no doubt. A, a really great match, too. Yes, it was. Next match is for the ECW Television Championship. When Rhino! The Man Beast. He's going to be taking on Little Spike Dudley. You know, the one that got fired and then he came out as fucking Santa Claus? <laughs> Rhino? <laughs> on a Raw? Yeah, Rhino. Yeah, he ain't no beast. <laughs> that ain't no beast. That's fucking... That ain't no beast. He's cheese and crackers. Yeah, he's fucking cheese and crackers right there. Uh, and I enjoyed the promo here by Rhino and Spike Dudley. Yes, they had a promo. Oh, fucking Rhino, to... I'm a motherfucking big deal here in Detroit. <laughs> New York ain't nothing but pussies. <laughs> pussies. And Spike Dudley, you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> you're a little fucking pussy. And then fucking, then fucking Spike calling fucking Rhino a motherfucker, I'm going to break your fucking leg <laughs> like you broke my fucking leg. It's a fucking great promo by Spike Dudley and Rhino. Yes, a, a great promo leading up to this match. It told a good uh, story. Well, Spike gets busted open from a chair. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly in the match. Instantly. Um, and then did you see fucking Spike? He licked uh, fucking Rhino. He fucking grabs Spike Dudley's blood and licks it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to get hepatitis. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, Sp uh, Spike ends up diving off the balcony. Yes. Uh, on the Rhino. On, on a Rhino. And as you guys know, if you guys have ever seen the Hammerstein Ballroom, there's, there's a big, there's balcony galore <laughs> there's in there. There's balcony baby. galore there. Um, Rhino, uh, uh, well, you know, uh, Spike's working on the leg of Rhino. Yeah, he he's got rapid tape he, around. He wraps it. tap around. He's got his leg tied up in the rope and the tape. And so Spike Dudley's fucking hammering the goddamn chair into his leg. But, well, Rhino ends up, like, grabbing the he fucking... Grabbing him. <laughs> got him in her fu fucking chin lock. And, fuck, he's choking Rhino. Fucking Rhino's choking Spike Dudley out. Yeah. And, and Spike Dudley, one, two, referee counts three, checks the arm. Spike don't fucking respond. And Spike's puked. <laughs> yeah, fucking Rhino's still and fucking... And he's still... And Spike Dudley's puked. <laughs> yeah. And he still ain't fucking let go. He vomited in the ring. Like, you can see the vomit yeah. in the ring. Yeah. Uh, then fucking Rhino finally lets go. Then he hits him with a chair. Spike's just lifeless. <laughs> here. He ain't fucking moving. And, uh, well, Rhino ends up grabbing a ref and just rams him through a fucking table. Yeah, rams him through the fucking table. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, well, did that really need so to happen? So the, uh, <clears throat> still ECW television champion, Rhino... <coughs> and a pretty decent match. A pretty decent match for what it was. Uh, you know, a good way to get Rhino over. Yep. Um, you know, and, and and Spike put up a decent fight. Yes. Uh, against Rhino in this match. Next match, we see Mikey Whipwreck with his partner Tajiri. Oh, did you see that sign, Mikey and Tajiri? Bring me their heads. Yes. Yeah. You know that won't be on there. <laughs> this big ass sign that yeah, was there under a bed sheet. <laughs> was that a it, bed it was sheet? on a fucking bed sheet. Uh, with the returning Sinister Minister. Yep. Uh, 
it was at the uh, October pay per view. He ended up blowing his fucking hand up. Yep. With the fucking. Uh, 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 with the flash flaming. paper, yeah, flash paper. Uh, so uh, like, like it was like a like a gun flash paper, yeah. and it ended up blowing his fucking hand to bits. And well, he he's re- he's returned now. Yeah, they're gonna be taking on uh, super, super crazy, crazy and a mystery partner. and a mystery partner. And well, the match ends up beginning before yeah, the mystery yeah, partner yeah, fucking super crazy runs in the goddamn ring, and Mikey Whipwreck and Cherry start beating the fuck out of him. And, and then, then here he comes. With the pit bulls theme, Kid Cash. <laughs> yes, with the pit bulls theme, Kid Cash. Because we did watch this on the network. I'm just letting you guys know yeah. that. Uh, you know, if you guys do know Kid Cash's real theme song, it's uh, Kid Rock Ball Kid, with the Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, you hear the pit bulls theme. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Um, table spots galore in this yeah. match. Yeah, there was uh, too many fucking table spots. Yeah, there was a lot of table spots in this match. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it was a good match. Yeah, it was a good match. But you know, fuck that. There, there was like three or four tables people went yeah. through in this match. Um, but anyway, uh, Tajiri ends up getting on onto the top rope. Uh, he has. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. He puts Super Crazy under the table. Mm-hmm. Puts some chairs under him. Then climbs up to the table, double stomp, through the table on uh, Super Crazy. And one, two, three, Tachiri and Mikey Whiprack beat Super Crazy and Kid Cash. In a pretty decent match. It was a pretty decent match, but, you know... Uh, too many table spots, yeah, though. Yeah, too many table spots. Uh, you know, there's, there's a good way to use weapons, and then there's overkill. And, yeah. Uh, it just seemed That match cool. overkilled it. Overkilled some of the table spots. Last match is the main event of ECW Massacre on 34th Street. It is a three-way dance for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, when we got the champion, the reigning ECW World Champion, Steve Carino, the king of old school, as he defends it against Justin... Oh, no, no, oh no. yeah. With, with, paint, with, with secret agent Jack Victory, <laughs> uh, New Zealand Militia's own... Uh, what else was he? The fucking Russian assassin, uh, yeah. gobbledygooker. He could be fucking any goddamn thing. Jack Victory could. You Versus, don't mess with and, uh, Jackie B. And fucking uh, and uh, and just the other incredible. opponent, just incredible with Francine, who looked beautiful, by the way. Who, who was sexy as fuck? Oh, yes. And not giving just incredible any nookie. Yeah. Well, who would give just incredible any nookie? You yeah. know, he's part of the fucking uh, Aldo Montoya squad there. So. He and, was part of the clique, so who would give him any? And the final person, one Jerry of Pops' favorites. Jerry Lynn! Or as uh, WWE 2K14 called him, Jerry Leon. <laughs> Jerry hey, you guys Leon. can talk about Jerry Lynn all you want to. Jerry Lynn's a great fucking talent. Well, speaking of that, well, Jerry Lynn was the first one eliminated yes. in this three-way dance. Uh, Francine ends up distracting Lynn and... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, uh... Just Incredible gets him into the uh, Tombstone Piledriver. Yep, driver. and one, two, three, and that eliminates Jerry Lynn. Well, Francine would distract anybody when she pulls them clothes off. Next, uh, well, both of them are bloody to shit. Yep. Uh, Credible and uh, and uh, Carino are just bloodied to the yep. gills in this match. Um, uh just incredible ends up whipping Steve uh, Carino into a ladder that was placed in the ring, uh, and Just Incredible ends up running towards the ladder, hits the ladder. Yep. And Steve uh, Carino hits the old school explosion, the big neck breaker, big neck breaker. And one, two, three. Steve Carino is still ECW World Champion. Uh, I liked the main event. I, I, I thought the main event was pretty good. Um, and uh, Tommy, but this is where I, <laughs> this was not needed. Yeah, this was not needed. What happens? Here comes the Sandman after Steve Carino's won the goddamn ECW. He retained the ECW world title. Here comes the Sandman. He canes Jack Victory. He canes fucking Steve Carino. He canes everybody fucking else. And then he takes the fucking belt and drinks a beer. And then we fade to black. I was like, what the fuck was that? Why the fuck was Sandman involved then? I don't know. I don't understand why he was involved. And all he did was come out, came the shit out of fucking Steve Carino, and you know, hit a few others. And then he just grabs the belt and then drinks a beer. And like, then fade to black. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I was like, "Why the fuck was? Well, if you wanted the fucking Sandman, you could have put him in the fucking match and made it a fucking fatal four way. That would have been better. If you wanted the motherfucking Sandman in there. But that's the end of ECW Massacre on Thirty Fourth Street." 
overall... A pretty decent show. A pretty decent show, guys. Yes. Uh, and, and, and that's one thing you can always say about ECW. Uh, you know, they put on really good matches. Yes. Uh, and, 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 like, the ones that I think you should fucking watch are C.W. Anderson versus Tommy Dreamer. Most definitely. That's one you definitely need to watch. In the opening match, Johnny Swinger and Simon Diamond versus York and Matthews. That that was good. Uh, Rogue Hill, Danny Doring, and FBI was yep. really good. Really good. Uh, Rhino and Spike. Really uh, good. And, and the ECW World Title match. No Three doubt. Three Way Dance was good. Uh, so go check out. You guys can watch it on the WWE Network. You guys, uh, or if you guys have this on VHS or, or uh, DVD or DVD, you guys can always watch ECW Massacre on Thirty Fourth Street. If you guys enjoyed. This review, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you each and every week right here from one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today. Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, tell you what. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your punk ass just don't.